Okay, guys, uh, if you guys watched my last video, um, I have like major exhaust leak. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to open this exhaust up and possibly look through and see where the exhaust leak is. I went ahead and unbolted the manifold. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it or not. So the manifold right now, it's pretty loose. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this or not. So, might be a little difficult to show. But, you know, it was fairly easy to unscrew the bolts on this manifold, you know, almost no struggle. And, you know, I think the problem is going to be where the flex pipe is. Let me see if you can see that flex pipe down there. It's underneath this right there. I think that's where the issue is but we, we shall see I'm gonna take this I'm gonna raise the car up and we'll go from there Let's see, you guys might be able to see this now all right so I uh, jacked up the car I'm gonna put the stands underneath it just in case but always be safe and place one of these uh, um, stops behind your tires especially if you have a slope in your driveway okay guys so I'm underneath the car so this is where the exhaust is um, I have to take the O2 sensor off if you can see it to focus on this thing so there's the O2 sensor I have to take that off um, there's another O2 sensor here I have to take this one off and this is where it gets separated um, I don't know if this was repaired previously or not but it might be the case. That's why it's probably why it's leaking so bad. Um, and uh, if you can see in the back, there's a bracket right there. I gotta take that bracket off. I'm gonna bring it down from as far back as I can just to see where the leak is or where it's leaking from. So I'm gonna take the O2 sensors off. I'll be right back. Okay, so the manifold is out. Um, as you guys know, this is one piece that's all welded together. And this is the bad part. So, um, let me show you what I mean. Um, even though it's supposed to have some flex to it, but not... Let me put the camera down again to show you guys in front of the camera. So, see this? See how much play this thing has? It's not supposed to have this much play. And I can even hear it inside, it's like cracked. So it's, that's where majority of the exhaust leak is. Now, here's the problem. Uh, I went online to look for these flex pipes. I almost can't even find them. They're almost impossible to find. So what do we do? What do we do? I went to AutoZone and got me this. See the size difference? Um, what I'm thinking to do is I am going to cut this from here. I'm going to cut that from there. I'm gonna cut this from here and I'm gonna cut it from here and then I wanna 
weld the whole thing together again. <laughs> so um, the functionality of this should just it should be the same. Not only uh, it should be this tilting part right there. Okay, so I bought a one and three quarter as well. So this is a two inch, which this is what seems to be this. But this is a one and three quarters. And I'm thinking this end of it can be inserted inside of here. So that will give me the angle that I need to do the job. And this part can just weld onto the pipe right there. So um, it's not gonna mess with the floor that much, guys, because it's only a uh, a quarter of an inch thinner than this one. So it won't it won't mess with the flow. I think it should be fine. So let's get to it. Let's cut these off and let's see what's gonna happen. It is destroyed. Inside of it is destroyed. So, uh, now we found a new problem. <laughs> the O2 sensor connection. I gotta figure out what to do with that. Because... That needs to be in the pipe somewhere for it to detect the airflow and this is a cavalry converter two cats so now we have a new issue at hand we gotta figure out what to do with it well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it from here for now and I might I might have to cut a small section from here and here. Uh, it's gonna be too much, too much day section that I don't really want to do, but I'm gonna have to do it because I can't find this part. I tried and can't find it. So either way, I have to cut it anyways. So I'm gonna go online again tonight to see if I can find this part and get it here as quickly as possible. So um, I could just actually put this part in versus cutting the other ones and messing with the O2 sensor and all that stuff. So let's cut this piece out too and go from there, see if I could just um, do a quick repair on the welding part. So let's do that. Yes, new blade, two new blades, and still having difficulty cutting it. So let's finish this off.
you think I could cut that bolt off and salvage it? I think I can with the angle blender. <coughs> Let's look at this destroyed flex pipe. Look, you see the crack? See where it's separated? That's where the separation is. And all the inner lining is gone. So this is a really, really fully destroyed flex pipe. And this is a brand new flex pipe. See the inner lining? So clean. It's stiff. It doesn't move freely. I mean, it does move freely, but it's not as loose as that one. So, if you're having major, major uh, exhaust leak sound, most likely it's your flex pipe. Majority of the time is the stupid flex pipe. So, um, I would recommend your i mean you could tell from the noise usually if you go under the car and turn it on you could probably hear from the flex pipe but this one's like really gone this one has like i can even move with my hand right now with one hand so all right let me see if i could salvage this if i could um if i could uh get this out of there I might be able to use what I have to get the job done. So let me let me think about this. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, I scratched the first idea with the um, with the flex pipe that I was the the long one that I had that I was gonna cut to size, only because I had to figure out the O2 sensor part of it again, and I don't want to cut more into the pipe I don't want to mess with all this stuff so I went online and searched again I was able to find something very close to the one that was on the car it's a little it's about half an inch bigger but this will do it's not that much of a difference so it fits the pipe I'm gonna tack weld this make sure everything is adjusted and what I first did was I took a picture of how the bents were and where you know uh, how the pipes were supposed to connect to one another so that's what I'm gonna do when I attach when I weld this to the top right there so let's tack weld this first then we'll go back and try to figure out where what position this needs to be into to be welded I had to change welders because the new welder that I have is not fully set up yet so I put a very thick weld on this thing just to be on the safe side and next I'm gonna tack weld the end piece just the way it needs to be so I'm gonna correct it tack weld it and finish welding it okay guys so here's the finished weld so as you can see the flex pipe is slightly bigger but uh, from the cuts and all that stuff everything fits just fine it's the same size everything seems to fit just fine um, I had a little issue with my weld I was welding a little too hot so I burned through the old pipe a little bit but nothing that can be fixed with the welder uh, so next comes the installation so I gotta put this back boy back in the car and turn it on and see what we did what we did 
hopefully the sound goes away and we can actually, I can actually hear the supercharger more than the exhaust leak. Okay guys, so I got the uh, flex welded and um, I have the O2 sensors plugged in from now so I don't have to squeeze my hand in and try to tighten it later so I got both of them hooked up so as soon as I put them off uh, put the headers up and you know once they go in I screw in I don't have to deal with this and this one was a pain in the ass to get out so let's go underneath we are gonna use our trusty scraper to scrape off whatever residue is on the other side let me see if I could uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to clean all that out before we put the new muffler, uh, before we put the headers back. So I'm going to go underneath the car and do that. So as you guys can see, I'm going to try to clean up as much as I can. All right, I got it cleaned off. Uh, I actually went and used the uh, uh, 200 grit sandpaper, just slightly sand it down. You know, uh, this is as clean as it can get right now. And now we're gonna squeeze the manifold in. So this is gonna be the fun part because I had a little trouble getting it out of this uh, little small opening right here. So. Let's give it a try one more time. Let me set the camera down. So I got this one just partially connected with one screw. You guys can see it. It's not hooked up yet. So this will have the headers just hang for now. So the hairs are just hanging now. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna screw it in and put the gasket on and go from there. Hopefully everything aligns up. Okay guys, the exhaust job is done. Um, I was gonna give you my uh, assessment on how hard the job was. Say from one through 10, I gave it a six. Uh, it definitely can be done at home. Uh, it took about, overall about three hours or so, three to four hours to finish the whole thing. Over the span of four days, because I did have to get a new part for the car. Uh, the flex pipe, but um, the sound is gone, the exhaust leak is gone, and the car is performing much, much better than what it was before. And uh, with that, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like the video. Put your comments down below so I'll know what you think about the job done. Uh, I definitely recommend doing a little bit more research when you're doing your welding uh, you just don't want to be off center because if you just off just a little bit it's gonna mess it up 
uh, I did face that a little bit so I had to do a correction weld but you know overall it wasn't a bad experience with that peace out